Hi friends, I welcome you all to today's session. Just a recall, previously we had done a revision assignment based on the topics common nouns, proper nouns, abstract nouns and collective nouns. Along with that, we also practiced a question based on articles. So let us carry on that revision. Are you ready? Very good. So let us begin with the part 2 of our revision assignment. And uh, are you excited that what topics are we going to take today? So just have a look. All right. We'll carry on with the nouns, but definitely not ones that we have already practiced. So let us see what kind of nouns or what segment are we going to pick up today. So we have today a revision assignment based on the topic nouns number. If you recall, dear children, we had done the singular nouns and the plural nouns. Alright? Singular nouns is the name of a noun that describes us one person, place or anything. Okay? It tells you about a single noun, only one noun. Plural nouns, they are used to tell about more than one person, place or thing. Alright? For example, cat is a singular noun. Cats are plural nouns. It can be two cats, three cats, four cats, hundred cats, okay, any number of cats. Similarly, butterfly is a singular noun. And plural noun is butterflies. Box is a singular noun. And boxes, plural noun. Alright? Now, if you just pay attention, when we change a singular noun to a plural noun, sometimes we are adding only S, like in the word cats. Sometimes we are adding the letters I-E-S. Like butterfly changes to butterflies. Sometimes we are adding the letters E-S. Like box, singular noun, changes to the word boxes, which is a plural noun. So we'll revise all that today in our topic. Okay? So again, nouns can be singular or plural. Singular is one, plural is two or more. Examples which are now shared are different from the earlier cherry. It becomes cherries, just like butterfly was changing to butterflies. Farm changes to farms. Mouse, one mouse. Mice, when there are more than one, two, three, four, or any number. So, mouse word completely changes to a new word, M-I-C-E. Box, boxes. Leaf, leaves. If you recall, during one session of singular and plural nouns, I had shared you the rules. Yes, when you have letter Y at the end, we change them to I-E-S. When you have F letter at the end, we change it to V-E-S. Alright? And see, it is beautifully described with the help of pictures to make it more interesting. I hope now you are recalling this topic. Very good. Let us see what have we next. Okay, so now based on these singular and plural nouns rules, the glimpse of which you have just seen, we have to do an exercise. Now let us see what do we have. Identify the errors. Errors you understand? Mistakes. And rewrite these sentences. 
you can rewrite them in your notebook all right the babies cried loudly as their toys were broken now you can see that the plural nouns are babies toys but you have to make it out that are their spelling correct take your time and write the answer number 2 is the thieves broke open the lockers and stole the rings again you can see that there are plural nouns used here but you have to see whether their spellings are correct or not because we are dealing with the topic noun number so we are revising this noun number with the help of these exercises number 3 we have the passengers were waiting for their trains at the station now here the spelling of waiting is also incorrect so you should write that as well correctly okay let it be a recap of your spellings as well that goes hand in hand okay all, all kind of errors we should be able to rectify so have you done yes i'm sure you must have been able to spot the errors apply your mind exercise your brain try and attempt the exercise and yes one humble request please do it on your own do not seek any help let it be a fair recheck of your knowledge okay should we move further all right so we have number 4 for you i love stories about fairies and elves see the pronunciation also becomes incorrect if your spelling is incorrect okay nishu cut the tomatoes in halves again i'm explaining the pronunciation part also changes when one writes wrong spellings the deers were hidden behind the bushes so please see to it that sometimes the nouns there uh, they follow a lot of rules sometimes s is added sometimes es is added sometimes ves is added sometimes the word all together changes so try and do these sentences and don't worry i'll be sharing the answers for you so don't seek help just do what you recall what you know we should keep learning right let us move to the next So we have number seven. The loaves of bread were kept on the shelves. The heroes were admired by the peoples. What do you mean by admired? Yes, admired means praised. The ladies played the pianos in the music classes. number 10 we have the monkeys wolves and buffaloes lived in the forest the monkeys wolves and buffaloes lived in the forest i have tried to include all the words uh, having a brief practice of all the rules i have tried to incorporate all those those kind of sentences where there, there's a good revision good recap of all kind of rules which you have learned so far so keeping in mind that one should have a brief layout a kind of matter which comprises of most of the words that involve different rules 
in such a way the sentences have been presented to you. So again take your time and try and attempt all the sentences. Read carefully the mistakes except for one. There was only one spelling error by now. Otherwise the mistakes are basically of nouns in their plural forms. Okay, why am I giving this clue to you? So that we can be focused. So, I think by now you must have been able to find out the errors. Should I share the answers with you? Yes, I'm sure all of you must be waiting for the answers. So, keep your finger crossed. Let me present to you the answers now. Okay, before that, it is just a recap that what kind of rules we had done. When your base word is something and you're changing it to plural, sometimes we add S to it. Example, we have done boy, boys. When your base word is changed to plural noun, sometimes we add Yes, like box, boxes. Sometimes we change the letter Y and change it into IES, like butterfly, butterflies. Sometimes, even in singular or plural form, our word remains same. Can you think of some example? Yes, sheep. Okay, deer. And sometimes the base word means your singular noun completely changes in form and change to a new word. So like mouse, it changes to mice. Ox becomes oxen. Tooth becomes teeth. We have done these kind of words. Okay. You can go through the videos previously shared with you to have a recap. So, now I shall present to you the answers. Okay, so our first sentence was, Babies cried loudly as their toys were broken. So, the spelling of babies which was given to you was B-A-B-Y-S. And it was wrong. The correct spelling is B A B I E S. The letter Y changes to I E S. Okay. Similarly, toys. The spelling was T O Y E S, which was wrong. The correct spelling is T O Y S. Okay. Toy becomes toys. Only S is added. Now, number two, the thieves. The spelling which was given to you was T-H-I-E-F-S. So, we do not write F-S. We change the word F into V-E. Okay? And it becomes thieves. If you recall, I just shared that pronunciation also changes. When you are writing a wrong spelling, the pronunciation is also becoming wrong. So, thieves is wrong. It should be Thieves, V-E-S, okay? So, the thieves broke open the lockers, L-O-C-K-E-R, locker is this. So, plural is simply by adding S, lockers, and stole the rings. R-I-N-G is your singular noun and we just add S to it, we are not adding E-S. The spelling which was given to you was R-I-N-G-E-S. That was wrong. It should be R-I-N-G-S. Okay. Now number three. The passengers. G-E-R-S. A single S is added. Were waiting. And the spelling of waiting is W-A-I-T-I-N-G. For their Trains, T 
T-R-A-I-N-S. Only S is added, not E-S. Train is singular. Trains become plural. T-R-A-I-N-S. At the station. So, how many of you have got it all correct? Very good. You can give a clap to yourself. And if you have not got it correct, please learn them. So that in future, you can have all correct answers. Let us see next. Okay, we have number four. I love stories. S-T-O-R-Y-S was given to you. That was wrong. Y should change to I-E-S. So S-T-O-R-I-E-S. About fairies. Again, Y, fairy ends with Y. So Y changes to I-E-S. F-A-I-R-I-E-S. Fairies. And elves. E-L-F is the singular noun. Elf. So elf, F letter changes to V-E-S. And it becomes elves. We don't speak Alps. That is wrong. Plural noun is Alps. Okay? E-L-V-E-S. Listeners, please keep learning. Viewers, please keep learning all these spellings. Now, number five. Nishu cut the tomatoes. Tomato is a singular noun. We add the letters E-S. Okay? In your sentence, T-O-M-A-T-O-S was given. So that was wrong. We do not add single letter S. We add letters E-S. In halves, the word given in your sentence was halves, F-S. That was wrong. We have to change the letter F into V-E-S. So that's why Halves is a wrong word and wrong spelling and wrong pronunciation. Halves is the correct plural noun. H-A-L-V-E-S. With the current pronunciation, halves. Alright. Now let us see number six. The deers were hidden behind the bushes. Because wrong spellings were there, so wrong pronunciation. The correct is dear, singular noun is also dear, plural is also dear. Okay, we do not add any S, any ES, nothing. It remains the word dear. Were hidden behind the bushes. It is not bushes, no IES, it should be only ES. B-U-S-H-E-S, alright. So again, if you have got all correct, give a clap. And if you have missed out anything, if you have not done it correctly, please learn them. Okay? Let us come to the next set of sentences. Uh, we have the loaves of bread were kept on the shelves. Now the word given to you was loaves, which was wrong. It should be L-O-A-V-E-S. The letter F should change to V-E-S. The loaves of bread were kept on the shelves was the word which was wrong. Wrong word, wrong spelling, wrong pronunciation. We do not use shelves as a plural noun. When it changes to plural, the letter F of the word shelf changes to V-E-S. So the plural noun becomes shelves. S-H-E-L-V-E-S. Okay? Now the next we have the heroes were admired by the peoples. Now heroes. The spelling was H-E-R-O-S which was wrong. E-S is added to make it a plural noun. So, the plural is H-E-R-O-E-S. Were admired by the people. People is people. Okay? The plural noun is people. 
Now, next is the ladies played the pianos in the music classes which was given. Now, it is not ladies Y S. That was wrong. The Y letter changes to I E S. So, the plural noun is L A T I E S. Played the pianos. Now, to make it pianos as a plural noun, we should add the letter S. Okay? P I A N O S is the correct spelling. In the same way, it is not classes, no I E S. When you change the singular noun class, it becomes classes by adding the letters E S. So the correct spelling is C L A double S E S. Alright, now let us come to the last statement number 10. The monkeys, monkeys, why? Simply add S. Wolves, wolf was F letter ending. It was the last letter of the word wolf is F. So we change F into VES. Okay, and it becomes wolves. And buffaloes, we add the letter ES. Okay, these two letters will be added and it becomes buffaloes lived in the forest. So with this we have come across the rules wherein we are changing letter F into VES. We are adding letters ES. Sometimes the word has no S E S. Sometimes it has only S. Sometimes the Y changes to I E S. And sometimes the Y does not change to I E S. Now what was the rule of changing Y? When the letter Y has a consonant before it, like the word lady, L-A-D-Y, Y has a consonant letter D, so it changes to I-E-S. But when your letter Y has a vowel before it, like monkeys, letter Y has vowel, E, so only the letter S is added. Okay? You can again watch the previous videos. To have a better understanding of it. Else I have already explained you related to the rules. So again I am sure most of you must have recalled your rules of nouns. Making them into plural. And must have got all correct. So we can have a clap for yourselves. Right? Very good. You can clap. Let us begin the next topic which is covered in today's session. Now the next we have done noun gender. Viewers, you already know that gender, we have four genders of nouns. Any noun can be differentiated as a masculine gender, common gender, feminine gender, neuter gender nouns. Let us see about them. So in English, Nouns can be masculine that refers to male gender. The examples are boy, father, actor or feminine, girl, mother, actress. These two genders. Brother is a masculine gender noun. Sister is a feminine gender noun. Okay. Now let us see what we have next. Common gender, viewers, common means any noun word, for example, child. When you speak about a child, child can be a male child, it can be a boy, masculine gender, it can be a female child, which is a feminine gender. So, we keep the word child, this child word as a noun belongs to the category of common gender noun. Okay? So that means the noun that denotes, that shows both a male and a female person or animal is called common gender. Example, sheep can be ram which is a masculine gender noun. It can be ewe which is a feminine gender noun. Similarly, student can be boy, can be girl. 
spouse can be male can be female friend can be male can be female so these words child sheep student spouse friend teacher doctor lawyer they all are common gender nouns all right let us see next now comes to the fourth category of noun in terms of gender neuter gender neuter means basically non living things okay on neuter gender maleness or femaleness doesn't apply these are neither male nor female like book table pen gold school rock so any non living thing comes in neuter gender nouns okay now based on this knowledge again let us have a practice of gender nouns so rewrite these sentences by changing the gender of the highlighted words the witch cast a spell on the monk so this witch you have to change it into the opposite gender noun monk you have to change it in the opposite gender noun number 2 the doe heard the sound and ran away again change the word doe into its opposite gender number 3 the bride will become the new empress change the word bride into its opposite gender similarly empress into its opposite gender noun please remember every masculine gender has an opposite feminine gender okay and a lot of words we have learned in our previous session regarding them so try and do the exercise do not seek any help please allow it to be a fair check of your knowledge gained so far and do not worry i will share the answers to have a recheck of what you know so next is number 4 the governor met the land lady for a discussion change the word governor and the noun landlady in the into their respective opposite gender nouns similarly the mayor managed to escape from the tiger change the word mayor and the word tiger to their opposite gender nouns the gander the hen and the ewe were very good friends so we have three nouns over here and you have to rewrite the sentence changing them to their opposite gender nouns have a recall of all the nouns which you have learned and use them to write the sentences correctly i'm sure you must be finding it easier yes this way we are able to read the sentences and we are able to use our nouns in our sentences okay so shall i show you the answers Are you ready? All right, here we go. Ready? Set. Go. Okay, we have number 1. The wizard cast a spell on the nun. So the opposite of witch is wizard. Opposite of monk is nun. Number 2. The deer heard the sound and ran away. the opposite of the word do 
is deer. The bridegroom will become the new emperor. So the masculine gender for the word bride is bridegroom. And in the same way, the masculine gender for the word empress is emperor. Okay? So here wizard is masculine. Nun is feminine gender. Deer is masculine gender. Bridegroom is masculine. Emperor is also masculine gender. Let us move to the next answers. Okay, we have the governess that is the feminine gender of the word governor. Met the landlord. Landlord is the masculine gender for the word landlady for a discussion. Next we have the horse, which is the masculine gender of the word male, managed to escape from the tigress. Tigress is the feminine gender. Tiger was the masculine gender given to you. And the last we have the goose. It is the opposite of gander. The hen, which is the opposite gender of Uh, the hen was the word given to you, so it should be cock here. Alright, the cock. And the ram. The opposite gender of ram. Ew was the word given to you. And opposite is ram. They were very good friends. Okay. So that ends up our gender based exercises. I hope with this you have been able to recall most of the genders which you have learned so far. So that brings to the end of our today's session. In the next session, again, I'll bring you a revision of some more topics. Okay? Alright. See you. Bye.